Hey, this is Dipti from Ashnik. We are an enterprise open source company based in Singapore with also presence in UK, US and India. We are also the master partner of Enterprise DB in Southeast Asia region. Today with us, we have Ed Bergen, the president and CEO of Enterprise DB. He'll be talking to us about PostgreSQL, its enterprise version and Southeast Asia as a market for Enterprise DB products. So let's talk to him. Thank you so much, Ed, for talking to us. So, in this world of big data and no SQL, uh, how do you see the future of RDBMS, especially that of Postgres SQL? Given the technical roots of Postgres, we see the Postgres technology emerging as a leader in the NoSQL category. I think that's best evidenced by the recent emergence of the JSON data type and it coming up in the 9.4 release JSONB, which will set a whole new baseline for Postgres capability in a NoSQL world. So what, according to you, is driving the demand for Postgres SQL, and for what kind of workloads do you see Postgres SQL being used to support? Postgres has long been known to be a workhorse relational database. In the past two to three years, the feature set for Postgres has expanded dramatically, and with that, the opportunities to expand into a variety of workloads in the data center has moved with it. So we see a continuation uh, in areas for mission critical and non-mission critical workloads uh, and everything from work group and departmental apps up into enterprise class applications. Yeah, first and foremost, demand is being driven by a continued need in enterprise to cut costs. We've seen IT budgets uh, continue to be under pressure. When you look inside most IT organizations, database spend continues to be one of the most uh, prominent line items in the budget. And so people are very naturally gravitating towards solutions like, po like we provide with Postgres that provide price performance leadership in the category. With that being said, we've continued to add features that enable Postgres to be used across a broad array of workloads today. And that can really be measured everything from work group, departmental, all the way up to enterprise workloads, and that includes mission critical and non-mission critical workloads, and, and, and specifically spans departments uh, from finance and HR to operations to manufacturing, and, and even we see some in the reporting areas for sales and marketing. Would you like to tell us what are the primary differences between a community Postgres SQL and the enterprise DB's Postgres plus advanced server? I think the first thing to remember is post, the Postgres Foundation, the, pro, the technology that comes from the community, is extraordinarily well-developed and complete. With that being said, we've added key features and attributes in the areas of security, manageability, performance, scalability, and, and in our case, Oracle compatibility that enhance the core code base that comes from the community to bring our users an additional level of value add. Most of the things that we develop here at Enterprise DB are the result of specific feedback that comes from our customers asking for new technologies or enhancements that enable them to deploy Postgres over more workloads. Many of those features we work hand in hand with the community and become part of the upstream code base for Postgres.org and in other cases they're things that we add earlier to our Postgres Plus family of products. Uh, you've launched an expanded uh, new ISV program. Can you tell us more about it and share a key ISV who has signed? So as we begin to penetrate more enterprise class customers, one of the things that we've been asked for is expanding the footprint of third-party ISV certifications on Postgres. And that's a natural extension for the development of Postgres and the work of Enterprise DB. The most notable starting point for us has been with Infor. We recently announced the support of Infor LN, one of their leading their leading ERP platform and I think the fourth largest ERP system in the world which now provides full production support for Postgres Plus Advanced Server. How would you characterize Enterprise DB's journey over the last 10 years? Yeah, it's been a remarkable 10 years. Uh, not only for Enterprise DB, we've been uh, in transformation and change for much of that time, but the industry around us is changing, and I think we're a big part of helping uh, as a catalyst for that for that transformation. And if you look back, when I joined the company in 2008, we stayed squarely focused on becoming a great database technology company, and that has been evidenced in the work we've done with our Postgres Plus family of products and the extensions we've made. Uh, to enhance our users' 
experience with Postgres and the ability for Postgres Plus to be deployed across a broader ecosystem of infrastructure applications. With EDB, as we call Enterprise DB, what is your plan for the future? You know, we're going to continue to be excellent at database technology, but as we look ahead, we're going to emphasize new areas of development that enhance the foundation of what we have with Postgres, that expand further into the areas of NoSQL technology. Now that we have NoSQL capability built into Postgres, we're going to expand our promotion of that capability and encourage our customers to start to pick Postgres as their sole database choice for a much wider range of technologies. And then we're going to be continuing to promote the growth in the community uh, of other capabilities and features uh, as it relates to scalability, performance, security, and areas where we've had strong requests from customers to continue to develop our capabilities. You recently visited Southeast Asia. So what was your impression and how important is this region for Enterprise DB? Yeah, I'm very excited about the opportunity for our growth in Southeast Asia. Uh, during my visit, I got to, got to spend time with a number of companies and government organizations, and I think uh, the acceptance and interest in growing the Postgres footprint in the region is extraordinarily high uh, for the same reasons we see in other regions in the world. The, the price performance attributes of Postgres are compelling, and now with the support we have of our local partners, we have an even stronger footprint in the region that will allow us to grow. We see this as a critical region for growth for the company's future. Thank you so much, Ed. Hope you enjoyed the interview. Leave us a comment and let us know. Thank you so much.